Congratulations into the uh, next round of the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, very pleased. We're, we're all pleased and uh, good performance tonight. Good performance. Yeah, we, we said when, when we got this tight, it was always going to be a two-game strategy for us because of the amount of players we had missing on Saturday. And as it uh, as it's turned out, that, uh, that, that was uh, that's exactly how it uh, really panned out at the end. So yeah, great result for us. So obviously all set up by um, getting the draw on Saturday, but uh, with so many players coming back, the uh, the returning players really did the business for you, Carl and Ian both put in their part. Yeah, well they were, that's the first time we've had a chance to get them up top together since well, you know, last season, end of last season, so uh, yeah, and Carl, Carl's going to get fitter and, and stronger as well, considering that was his first game back, and, but yeah, they both, uh, you know, they're both quality and, uh, and they showed that today with a fantastic performance. Uh, Carl making one for Ian and um, you know and notching the penalty. So good performance from Carl and uh, Ian done his usual and buzzed about and got himself a goal and looked nice and lively. And they're always going to be a threat to any side they play against, and we miss them when, when they don't play. So and uh, you showed the uh, flexibility you've got in defence with uh, some different players on show tonight. Paul Mortimer came back in and uh, Gary Calloway. Yeah, well it's. Uh, Mike had a great game on Saturday, but in, I, I explained to him before the game I need him for Saturday because obviously Gary's not about on Saturday, so um, you know, and I didn't want to risk Mike. Uh, but uh, as it happened, both Shoney and uh, and Gary were, were uh, really strong today, and along with the other lads that played at the back, and uh, we had a good shape about us. And we played to that shape, and uh, and we looked solid as well when Reading Town had a go at us in the second half there. And, we stood up and defended really well, which was a pleasing thing. And uh, obviously we should have a word for uh, Carl Withers playing his 300th game and uh, celebrated with a goal. Yeah, great, great for Carl. Uh, fantastic night for him and what a great achievement for him as well. It's uh, When I first came here and saw him, he looked at him and I, was, I sort of thought he's a player who's got, got a lot about him, had the tools to, to do well in games, but didn't really apply himself properly, but he's... He's, uh, he's listened to what I've asked him to do and really, you know, we've brought him on and, and he's, uh, he, he'll get better as well. So, yeah, I was uh, I was buzzing for him tonight and, uh, yeah, a nice touch as well from Terry coming down and uh, presenting that silver salver to him. So, nice so, one. 
looking ahead, Slimbridge next, that'll be a, a tough away game. Got any injury worries for that one? Yeah, JP got a knock tonight, so he'll probably be struggling for Saturday. Um, if past history is anything to go by. So, But, you know, we got cover in that position anyway, um, so I'm, I'm not, uh, not that concerned about that. But apart from that, I think uh, everyone else came out today unscathed, so you know, we're going to go there and uh, give it a good shot on, on Saturday. We're right. playing well and we started to look good, look good going forward and um, we're scoring goals now and, and that's the second clean sheet we've kept on the trot which uh, was a hallmark for us last season and uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to really carrying that form into Saturday's game. And then uh, after that we've now got uh, a trip to Slough Town to look forward to on 3rd of September. Yeah, fantastic. It's going to be a great day for us. Uh, but listen, you know, it's, uh, I said to the players before, a you know, big carrot, go and play Slough Town away from home. Um, and we're all looking forward to that. Uh, the FA Cup's a, uh, a bit of a bonus for us. And obviously for clubs of our size, getting through to the next round and you know, perhaps getting that little bit of extra money and the revenue that that brings into the, to the club. You know, it's valuable income for a club like ours. So, that's why tonight was really important that we, we progress to the next round. Well, congratulations, Tally. Uh, great performance over the two legs, and uh, we'll look forward to the Slough game now. Thanks, Scott. So, Mark, disappointing night for you. You would have uh, hoped to have got through that one. Yeah, um, obviously disappointing to, to come and lose 3 0 and uh, finish with 10 men. And, yeah, definitely disappointing to be, to be going through to the next round. So uh, you, you didn't start with um, your striker up front, the star striker, Michael yeah, Bartley, no, is he? Yeah, a little bit, little bit, little bit heavy legged, I felt. Um, he's had a stop start pre season, so you know, I mean, I felt the two games in, in three days would have probably been a little bit too quick for him. Um, and obviously, you know, both he and Graham have had interrupted pre season, so I felt to go with both of them would have been a little bit too much. I think Jamie Pierce, he'd done really well, he'd done exactly what I asked of him, ran into the holes, and I think for, for half an hour, pretty much, we, we'd done what I asked, really. Um, and then we, we kind of gifted a goal, and that was at the beginning of the end, really. And uh, I mean, over the two matches, you probably uh, feel a little unlucky because you've hit the woodwork three times. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it, that's how it goes, isn't it? You know, it's all about making sure that you're not hitting the woodwork and you're hitting the back of the net. And to be fair, you know, Binfield have done what they do, what they do really well. I felt as though I, I knew what. I felt as though tactically we weren't we weren't a million miles away. I felt like I knew how to kind of stop them going. And I think for the first half an hour, my team showed that. Um, unfortunately, for whatever reason, we've not been able to, to see that through, and, and you know, ultimately, that's when we've allowed them to, to get on top of the game. But you know, fair play to Binfield, they do what they do well, and uh, good luck to them in the next round. So, uh, you're sort of three or four games into your uh, tenure now. How do you feel it's going? Yeah, not too bad. I mean, it's, it's been a little bit, you know, there's been, been times I've been happier with than us than, than today, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, I think the players really are responding well. We've we sort of bringing on board a new system kind of changed the way we played a little bit it all takes time to settle down and there's going to be these sort of games where it just doesn't click but um, you know I'm a, I'm a winner so you know like I've just said to the lads you know we, uh, I will be successful with this so I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm enjoying it and you know there'll be one or two uh, additions as well coming up so yeah I'm, I'm excited about the future You're not going to get your boots out again yourself oh yeah no I will do I will do you know but it's unfair of me during pre-season to sort of look at players while I'm playing so I've had to sort of do the running and not really take part in the game. So give me a couple of weeks to get match fit, and then, do you know, what I mean, maybe next time we, uh, maybe next time we meet, I'll be, uh, I'll be wearing one of the one to eleven shirts. Okay. Well, thanks for coming and talking to us, Mark. No uh, after both games, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again Good later luck in the next round, guys. Yeah, cheers. Thank you, Thanks. Carl. Great to see you back on the pitch for us and uh, back with the goal. Yeah, yeah. Only a penalty, but I'll take it. Well, after being taken off penalties last year, were you sort of heart in your mouth on that one? Are you quite confident? I was confident. I don't think the lads were. When he, when he told me I was I was taking them, uh, there's a few moan and groans in the changing room, but yeah, as soon as I I want I wanted it, that's when you know you're going to score. So, so without Jack in the dressing room, who else was uh, wanting to take him then? Uh, Ian had the biggest moan, <coughs> but um, I said to Tali, I said um, I said to him Saturday night at the wedding, I said uh, get me on penalties. I said I like scoring against Reading Town, so I think that's what made his mind up. I think. And uh, then obviously you, you laid one on for uh, for your strike partner Ian and uh, just showed us what we had all throughout last season at home. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, the wand was back, left foot. <laughs> but yeah, it's always nice to set up Ian. He, he works hard for me and uh, it's nice to repay him with a tapping. 
And uh, how did you feel after that first game in sort of four months? Um, tired. <laughs> first 20 minutes, I was, I, was, I was very close to telling Tyler to get me off, but uh, you get your second win. Really enjoyed it. Like time flew by. Um, didn't want to come off, but understood why. I was I was getting tired, but um, yeah, really enjoyed it. And uh, ready to play again Saturday? Do you think? Is that uh, give you enough time to recover? Oh yeah, play tomorrow. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we'll look forward to that, Carl. And uh, great to see you back on the pitch. Thanks Carl, much, congratulations on uh, 300 appearances. That's some achievement. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I never expected to play 300 games for Binfield, but as I say, over the years, obviously seeing the club progress, it's sort of kept me here and what the club's doing with the facilities and the sort of standard we're playing and playing in competitions like this, it sort of attracts me and makes me want to sort of stay at the club, really. So you've obviously seen a lot of changes over the years, um, and what's the sort of biggest thing that you've seen change? Um, I think really sort of like the facilities, the, the pitch, like when I first came here, it was the goals, <laughs> they were just about up, and the pitch itself, like there was no, there was never a grass on the, on the surface sort of thing, and I think Boulders and, and Bobby Ellis, they do such a great job, and I think sort of when you look at facilities, you attract the sort of players like your Cole Davises and Ian Davises, and like James Suarez and that, and it makes people want to come and play for this club, so... I think definitely the facilities is what pushes this club on and hopefully to one sort of next step up for us really. And uh, tonight obviously you've uh, celebrated your 300 the yeah, for the goal. No. Yeah to be honest I did, did fancy myself at the start of the game I thought I could stick one in here and when I saw the goal I just thought it's it and open and thankfully it went in off the post really so it's quite nice to get that goal on my 300th appearance so yeah it's nice and then uh, nice touch Terry Brown popping down just to yeah, present you well, I, I didn't as I was walking off the gap I heard over the tunnel that Terry Brown was here to present the trophy and I thought oh god I'm quite embarrassed by this so that was nice for him to come down and do that and obviously he's got a busy schedule of AFC Wimbledon so that's quite nice really to see that so uh, do you think you'll manage another 300 before you're 40 Oof. oh I don't know if I, my body let me or my missus really <laughs> I just got engaged in her she's already screaming in my ear at the moment about how many games I play so I don't think I've got another 300 in but I'll do my best. Okay, and uh, a big celebration month because you're 30 in a, in a week's time. Yeah, I'm, I'm 30 on Saturday, so uh, hopefully I'll have a few beers on Saturday, not too many on Sunday because obviously we've got a big derby game against Ascot and obviously playing against them you want to be fresh and ready because they're a decent side, so hopefully Saturday will be a heavy night, Sunday relax and ready for Monday really. Well, congratulations again Carl, it's a, a great achievement and uh, look forward to seeing you make it 400 soon. Cheers Connor, thanks a lot, cheers. cheers.